shifting flesh. <laughs> I just... There's so much cheese. I love it, though. I love it. Make it, yourself a grilled cheese sandwich. I'm making myself... Not only that, I'm making myself lasagna, pizza. There's that much cheese on it. Tim, Tim, you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. You lost me at cheese. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Off the Chest Podcast. Today we are reviewing Pacific Rim. Rim. This is, you know what I thought you were going to say? I thought you were like, today we are cancelling the apocalypse <laughs> with this review! That's what we are! I love Idris Elba. It's not his name. That, that's the guy who goes, we are cancelling this apocalypse! Token black guy. He always has like... Well, he's not really the token in this one. Is there another black guy? Wait, I'm trying to think. I don't remember. Maybe. <laughs> it's not the black guy. It, there isn't? No. no. Oh my god, so you're telling me the apocalypse wiped out all the black people except <laughs> for Idris Elba. <laughs> you left a bad ass guy behind. Because he's going to kill everyone. Anyway, I got with me the co-host Tim. Hello. The co-host Melvin. What's up? The co-host Anjo. Go. Oh. You forget his day. <laughs> Duh, uh, uh, Joe. I'm the co-host for Cash here, and yeah, like I said, this is the spoiler review for it. This is the discussion one. Now, if you want to hear the short version where it's spoiler free and we get straight into the ratings, uh, it'll be in the suggested videos or somewhere on link our channel. Below, yeah, people, link yeah. below. But anyway, enough about this. This is the Guillermo de, del Toro's new movie, and um. One thing that really surprised me on this, this only had a $190 million budget, which I know that's a lot, but like... <laughs> In but comparison like, to other films. This movie, holy shit, it takes your breath away. Just like, the scope of it, the scale of it. And it, alright, so... Literally, um, the scale of it. <laughs> literally, the scale of it. So let me just quickly get into the synopsis of this, and then we'll go on to our pros and cons, and then we'll go on to our ratings, and we'll discuss it a little bit more. Alright, so, in the near future, humanity's existence is ruined. You didn't, you, you didn't like that intro? Keep going. Okay. A anyway. <laughs> Look at this face. <laughs> so, it turns out aliens don't come from the sky. They come from the Pacific Rim. And there's a portal that they come through. And now these monsters are called kaijus. I don't know why they're called kaijus. It wasn't it fun? No way. It's Japanese. Yeah. But it's... why? Why did they get to pick the name? They didn't mention the Bermuda Maybe they found it first. No, no, they didn't, no, right? no. no. Melvin's like, what about some of them Japanese toilets that Melvin loves so much? The day in the ocean. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the day in the ocean. The dumbest shit I've ever heard. The day in the ocean. At least you'll clean your ass out. <laughs> Thoroughly. <laughs> A whale squint shut your ass. So, um, to combat this, the humans then decide Made to make... Monsters. Yeah. <laughs> I was like Gundam, but whatever. Oh, no, no. Remember no, that it's not. To fight monsters. We monsters. made our own monsters. <laughs> we made our own monsters. <laughs> I think of monsters versus aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, <laughs> I'm Bob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so the humans have created robots called the Jaeger. Now, uh, during mm -hmm. their original trials, when they um, initially creating these... Turns out that they need two people because of the two brains because of the no it's too stressful yeah, yeah. 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 To yeah. Such a now thing. I don't know about you guys but Jaeger fucks me up as well so it needs two people Jaeger bomb oh god don't it's only they made that a weapon please don't <laughs> this this fucked up my brain enough <laughs> you go out you meet the monster and you go shot for shot with him <laughs> until first one I challenge you <laughs> <laughs> what do you got what do you got turns out it's Lindsay Lohan down there drinking against the monster <laughs> but you know after that they create these robots called the Jaegers that's about it and then it what basically what happens is it just turns into the battle to save earth and um essentially yeah and then they find out that what they can possibly do is open up a connection to the portal where these uh, Jaegers are coming from. Kaijus. Kaijus. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> <laughs> um, where they are coming from and they can sever the connection. Yeah. Now, uh, should we just go straight on to the pros and cons on this? Yeah, I think you've explained it all. Yeah, all right. yeah I mean, yeah. Um, big robots fight monsters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a ripoff! That's all I have to say. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to get to you last for shouting out shit. Now, um, <laughs> Andrew, you, you are very quiet in class today. You want to do your oral nice. presentation? Yeah, he wants to do his oral presentation. Where do you want me to start in? 
On his D. Alright, so <laughs> start on your C with a D. Your cons. Your cons? <laughs> yeah, but... I, I didn't think you'd get that. <laughs> like, what? It's <laughs> like, okay. What is Decepticons? What? I see. Right, so... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. And the Academy Award goes to. I just, uh, 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 the main character, right? He's just, he's just so I don't know. He's so typical. So you typical. Know, the, the voice, you know. Mm. Oh yeah. He, he reminded me of the um the main protagonist from Tron Legacy. Did he? No, he's no, no. Like, he's ca- kind of bland, but acceptable. He's like not that bland. I don't know. Well, just I don't know. He lost his brother. He lost his brother. Yeah, but he's... he's the world is over. <laughs> it made yeah. him do some kind of generic hero. He was a generic Not hero. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can agree with that. Come on, he's like... Uh, yeah, with like with, uh, with uh, his brother dying, he became a Sinji. Yes. Yeah. Sort of. Not as no, much. Not, not as emo, but in the, no, movies, in the movies, he's not as emo as he used to be. Yeah, no. No. Still oh, it's an Evangelion thing. You wouldn't know. It's okay. <laughs> it's a really don't dark be a fag. You don't, don't, don't right. want to watch it. It's a really dark all right, all right. So, <laughs> any other any other parts apart from the uh, lead? Well, Asian chick. It's <laughs> like leather. You have, you have some problems with her. No. Just shout now. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> wanted a top listen. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, anything like, else, really? Well, or? if there's any cons, I would say maybe the storyline's not so in depth, but yeah. it's not a storyline movie, so it's a good no. thing. See, for you, I figured that this would be one of the movies that could possibly be a contender for your top five because it is just a generic and a fucking huge action movie. Way good action movie. Yeah. I mean,. They did Max way. They did, they did the robot scene way better than Transformers did. That you yeah. can actually see the punching. What the hell did you see in Transformers? Yeah, like I did, don't. I don't know what happened. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this kind of the Jaegers did remind me of Transformers a little bit. How? Just in in the way that they were designed. No. And no man. Really? really? No, I'm just saying that you know. It did. When do you see how it did. <laughs> <laughs> When you saw the Transformers fight, what did you see? Nothing. Transformers are made to look human though when they're in that form. Whereas these ones aren't. They, they have that, like, you know, that kind of long backs and stuff. They, they don't mm. look human at all. Mm, yeah, they do. They do? They got them fists. They have, like, the random three heads and you have the fucking... Okay, yeah. That's just customization. Mm. And, like, you have the, um... Wait, you have the Eureka, which is, like, this massive round head thingy. And it goes to the back as well. So, they, they weren't, there's like... When you look at a Transformer, it's literally head, arms, legs. You know? Yeah, but I'm just it's saying... So, I'm just saying... So that... human with him, you know what I mean? What? Which version of Transformers? <laughs> oh god, don't start. Well, no, 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 you're getting off topic, you're yeah, getting right, off topic. Yeah. All, I'm, so, uh, anything all I'm saying is they did the mech, mech fighting way better than all the other mechs so far. Mm. Like, like, it was more... Clear. For something. Mm. Like, they yeah. actually fought for humanity rather than Transformers was just... No, I wouldn't say that. Bash this guy! <laughs> <laughs> Let's take him to the city and put on a show. <laughs> <laughs> they destroyed the shit out of every city in this... <laughs> Holy fuck. Well, most of the world's already destroyed, yeah. so... You see, like, Zod and Superman's fight was, like, oh, yeah. piss poor oh, by comparison. <laughs> so good. This is like, holy shit! <laughs> Alright, so, any pros? Pros? Yeah. You? Come on, man. The whole thing. Oh, well, <laughs> All that action, man. Go All on. that action's a pro? Yeah, man. Anything else? How about the CGI? Did you like the CGI work? It's excellent. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. Mm. Man, the CGI's way good. Mm. I mean... I, I love the wear and tear they show on the machines. It's good stuff. Oh. I mean, what was the budget on that? Uh, 190 Avatar? million. Oh, wait. For no. Avatar? Yeah. Uh, that was in its 200 million. Yeah, so it did a pretty damn good yeah. job. Well, this is much better than Avatar, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that man. I don't know why you said 190 is small. 190 is a huge budget, man. Obviously, but like, consider like your summer movies now that you're getting. They're all like up in the 200s. Well, but anyway, well, yeah. th- th- that's off topic. Uh, <laughs> Melvin, I want to let you go on to this one now. And all right, so. Just be... We'll start off with cons. All right. Mediocre acting. I mean, you can't really oh, yeah. you can't expect yeah. great performances. Mm. It's not that kind of a film. So mediocre acting. I, I didn't have any beef with it. It was just like it yeah. did its job. It did yeah. its job. Yeah. So, you know, it's Except all about for Idris Elba, <laughs> plus one for acting. Right there. <laughs> yeah. there. There were a few emotional scenes, and it was like, yeah, it's okay. You know, I, I got the point. It didn't engage me, but was, I got the point. There was no for you, uh, Melvin. Was there any real emotional impact during those emotional scenes that they they were trying to convey, or was it just kind of like it, it? It felt very bland to you. You've seen it before. You've seen it done differently. But uh, like I know, I know that you expect in these type of movies not to have that emotional impact. Yeah. But was there still anything on that front that? 
did hit or I know losing his brother was done pretty well. I mean, he he acted that out pretty decently. And then there's the whole part where um Idris Elba dies and you have to see the Son chick of a go through bitch. it. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like that part. <laughs> Yeah, uh, nah, it, it, was, it was all done pretty well. I mean, even with Idris Elba's death, you saw it coming a mile away. You know as oh. soon as he gets in the machine, he's going to yeah, die. So yeah. it's like, After you, you're prepared too well for what's coming forward. He's, you already blew your tears. Yeah. He's okay. the first human in the Resistance to actually die after um, the brother. No. no. Oh, no, no. Wait, there, there was the, the Russians. Russians. Did the Chinese die. <laughs> yeah, dude, the Russians just get demolished. Man. <laughs> yeah, okay. I really don't remember the Russians too well. No, no, the Chinese well. died first. They get their heads there were back. Chinese people? I yeah. thought they were the Russians. No. No, the Chinese with the double the, There's the three Chinese oh. guys. The triplets. You don't, how can you not remember? I, the, the, they all look the same to the me. The red car one where it had one arm on the left and two arms on the right. Remember? They all they look fought, the same. They fought first. They, they had the, the spinning kind of blades. blades on each arm. They like, all look the same. Anyway, their, their head got crushed. Shitty so, robot. Yeah. Um... I I don't really have too many cons because like, you know, mediocre acting. But do you... Decent enough plot. Um, it's a little too Independence Day for me. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I, I, can, I can show you the damn similarities, man. I can, me and this guy got yeah, out. And it's just I, I it's said true, Independence yeah, Day. He's like, I'm thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah like uh, he literally beat me to it. But I, for me, that was more of a pro because it's like Independence Day was such a fun action movie before all you. Welcome to Earth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like it, this movie reminded me of like the type of fun summer movie before we got like comic book movies before we got like hardcore book movies mm. before everything was all dark and Nolan-y this is like this this was definitely like for me a lot more fun and like the similarities mm. as you're saying to Independence Day like that's one of my favourite movies of all time oh, yeah, no, like, no, no, no doubt but there's things I like about similarities and there's things I don't oh yeah the things I don't like is the whole same fucking you know Putting your damn nuclear missile into their fucking main ship, if you get what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sending yeah. it in and then coming back safely. I'm like, okay, whatever. It, it was the ending was a little too similar, but now to my pros. Once, once again, <laughs> with the with the with the Independence Day thing on the plus side, this wasn't an America fuck yeah kind of film. It's a whole world. It was a whole world. Yeah. The goddamn fucking main guy was. I'm gonna say British because that's his, that's what his accent was at least. <laughs> was it? Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's yeah. He's British. He's British. Yeah. I don't know if if he played British in the film. He he could be the next James. Anyway, go on. Yeah, um, I really like the fact that it was a whole world banding together, not just like America going, yeah, we got this. You know, y'all yeah. just step back. You know? See, that's one thing I really don't like because, um, you, you know, at the end of the movie, the guy who's speaking to them over the intercom and he's like the next in command. He, he's the next marshal there. So, you, you know how Idris Elba was the marshal in control oh, I mean, of yeah. them? He's got his right hand. And, yeah. and, and that other guy. Yeah, yeah. And, and the long hair. Yeah. And the head. No, no, no. The, um, the, Ameri- the Australian guy? The, Australian. the, the yeah. Aussie guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And yeah. that's the aspect I'm talking about where it's like, you, you know, you you got an Aussie guy, you got a British guy, you got the uh, chi- Chinese people. And actually at the start of the movie, one thing I really, really liked was the fact when they go, the, the world kind of, I'm paraphrasing, but it's like, yeah, the world kind of worked together because the, we all had to fuck shit up. It's like, <laughs> it's like by comparison, our, our quarrels are insignificant compared to these. Well, the yeah. kind of wrecking the world. It's kaiju. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wish the kaiju would come so then we can end this world conflict we have here. No, I mean, it made sense. I mean, if you think about the four kaijus that are left, you got one for America, which Fuck is yeah. big ass, big ass, big ass <laughs> country. You got one for China, no offense, big ass fucking country. Russia, big ass country. Australia, to have the strongest one, makes sense because we're a fucking big country. Like land mass wise, so we have yeah. all the things we need, and and we're separated from everyone else yeah. by ocean. Mm. So you know we need one fucking giant motherfucker. So I, I I thought I thought that was really laid out well. Oh, I I was just thinking, you know, during the um when one of the kaiju come to attack Australia, it didn't seem like apart from that, like Australia was getting attacked a lot. It's like <laughs> w- w- when they focused the carnage, I it, like... it was always on America, <laughs> or like at least to begin with. I was like, so is Australia kind of safe? From these attacks? No, Australia had the wall. Yeah. They got broken down instantly. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, we're in Brisbane, man. Yeah, we're going to be China safe. Wall as well. They, they built a wall around the Pacific Ocean. Mm. That's what they did. Mm. And they did shit. And it failed. It's the dumbest plan I've well, ever heard of. I, another thing I really liked was how freaking, like, they, they tried to give a good sense of realism, you know? Shit was getting torn up. Yeah. It wasn't just like, oh, we went to war. And we won without a fucking casual team. Everything went bam. Everything went so according to plan that <laughs> one guy died and we beat the fuck out of all of them. No. <laughs> we, we suffered loss. We tried to build a wall. It got 
knocked the fuck out in like seconds. I, I really like the centerism in this film. Like, now they, they can't just yeah. create Jaegers whenever they want. Exactly. They actually lose most of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And mm. how there is a risk. I, the whole risk to um, driving a, a Jaeger, yeah. that was kind of weird to me. Like, like the drifting. The drifting. Like, the fact that there's... <laughs> I wonder if you know that if it's been Tokyo. <laughs> yeah, the, the whole drifting thing was a bit iffy, but it, but it had its plus points. I, I, I enjoyed that as well. It had that emotional side to it. It had the emotional side, and it became a way to contact, and, you know... Yeah. They, they used it really well. At the beginning, if it was just a way to drive, I'd be like, that was fucking useless. Yeah. But you had the emotional aspect, you had the, able to, the ability to contact with the aliens that way, you know? So overall, I thought that was, that was a good use as well. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you, how do you feel about um, Charlie Day in this? Charlie, Ch- Charlie Day played uh, one of the scientists. Oh, yeah. Which yeah. one? Oh, um, right. the, the, the hipster the, one. The mind melding oh. one. Yeah, the, hip, the hipster one that um, yeah, had the tattoo and everything like that. Uh, the f- oh, the, the fast speaking one. Yeah. He's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he? he like, you know before how you were saying that this reminded you of <laughs> Independence Day? Yeah. He, re- he really did remind me of Jeff Goldblum in that situation where he... You know how J- Jeff Goldblum always does that fast talking yeah. and... No, Jeff uh, 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 Hysterical. Yeah. yeah. And then the, there was that other scientist, the guy from the... Um, I, I, I don't know his name. The, the British... Really yeah. High yeah. Yeah. One. yeah. 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 Um, Bern Gorman. Back to the original question with the main scientist, the comedic one. He, it was good, but I don't know. I felt like he could have been a little bit more funny. But yeah. he was still, I, I still lost still, my ass yeah. off. Yeah. Remember, that, remember that scene, guys? Uh, is that, I just need one look to tell him he would die after one minute outside, remember? Yeah. It, yeah. it, it was pregnant? Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to uh, quickly... Int- oh. yeah. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I assume you want to talk about the post credit scene? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, same yeah. thing. Uh, How you, good you, was no, you go, Yeah, I, I really enjoyed the post credit scene because... It, did you guys see the post credits? I can't remember. I saw it during the credits. Okay, well... Yeah, like, um, I think it happened like just before the credits, maybe. Like, no, 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 it happened after. After? Oh, I must, uh, after must, the first I set. It then. What? Uh, after the first set of credits, um, the film then comes back and you're like... Oh god, they're making an, they're making a sequel, aren't they? Yeah, a sequel credit thing. And and it wasn't. It wasn't. It, it was um no. the um guy with the sunglasses and the the gold teeth. Yeah, yeah. Oh. He he cuts out of the belly so and uh, jumps out. and He's like, "Where's my shoe? Where's my, <laughs> where's my other shoe?" Yeah. <laughs> so he actually survived. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh shit! And like, a it was great because it was fucking funny as hell. Yeah. yeah. Great way to end the film. And B, it's not like they're fucking putting up a sequel. It was just a nice bonus scene. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, it was a nice for the people who stayed. Yeah. Scene, not yeah. a, something to come. It was a nice little golden egg to have at the end. It like left you with a good feeling. Yeah. It's like mm. we lost the black guy, but we got to keep a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many people said that. <laughs> hey, we lost the three Asians and they never came back. We lost an Australian, mate. Two Russians. Oh well, the, the Australian mm. making bleed anyway. Uh, yeah, the, the yeah. other, the yeah, other son, though, the other, yeah. uh, the other Australian became leader of all. He's them. my son. Yeah. Take care of him. If he does it. We're gonna die together. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> He's my son. Take care of him, mate. <laughs> Straya. <laughs> um, Timmy. Oh, so anything else from you or? No, I'm, I'm good. I think I've right, given right. everything. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really enjoyed this film. It had, well, in a sense, it resonated really well with Japan's Evangelion series, <laughs> but they had their own little twist on it. Um, I did like the twin synchro drifting sequences because they let you they didn't like tell you the backstory of each person for the majority you see little flashes of what they've been through yep, yep. there's only one real scene really where you go back which is when he goes into miko's mind and sees how she you know i thought it was be. marco mm-hmm. marco whatever whatever asian, asian, <laughs> asian. hey hey <laughs> hey why am i taking offense <laughs> so because of that you can see what drives each character to do mm. what they do you see that marco she wants Pretty much revenge, mm. whereas um, Rally if is that how, is that his really? name? Ray, Rayley, Rayleigh, 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 Rayleigh. He, he's Rayleigh. got a tinge of revenge, <laughs> but he's it's kind of subdued in a way because he hasn't been in the Jaeger for mm. all those years after his brother's death. It it doesn't seem like so much of a revenge thing as just like you, you you know this shit is bound to happen yeah. in the apocalypse. The apocalypse. And I I, I like you know, the, I, I like that. I, they didn't center this film around him specifically on a, on a, like a vendetta mission because it's like consider the scope of of the scale of it's what's not happening. About one person. Yeah. I like that yeah. it doesn't focus on one yeah. person for doing that. Like that's, that's <laughs> where do you want to die <laughs> on a wall or inside a Jaeger? 
Underwall. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I like... I, I'm one who likes to actually look at designs and things, so when I see all the Jaegers... <laughs> You're just, like, examining every single part. Like, oh. Well, no, but I, I like <laughs> how they're not all similar. Yep. Oh, yeah. Right, when you so look at the Transformers, they're all little fiddly bits that yeah. make up what they are. Boing! Whereas these Jaegers, you've got ones that are really, like, bland, but, like, you know, they're tough and stuff, and then you've got the more sleek ones. By the way, the Australian Jaeger looks the best, yes. in my opinion, which is awesome. <laughs> Strongest of them all. Yeah. It's um, the Mark 5 one, right? Yeah. I did Mark have 5. little nitpicks, though, in terms of the Jaegers. Oh, <sighs> God, or... really? You have nitpicks in this? I do, I do, I do. Which one? This film is a nitpick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they don't have any proper conventional weaponry on their Jaegers. The only like with like swords and kind of stuff. Yeah. You, At the start, they're yeah. all beating them, like. You, you know one thing? <laughs> you say that, and I'm, I'm like. <laughs> Okay, so why is the sword a last measure? Yeah. Why? Why, why are they fighting? Yeah. <laughs> why are they fighting with their hands instead of fighting with yeah, the sword? I made that was a fuck. I, I actually laughed <laughs> when she pulled the sword out. She's like, oh, "For my family." <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it for my memory. I'm like, shit. Am I watching anime now? <laughs> like, you, you, we're in a society in terms of military where they're very weaponized, yeah. and yet when they create these new Jaegers, all they have are their fists it's at the start. And the pulse. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. It, the it, it, the, the, I'm assuming at the start they didn't have them. They no, just, they, no they, the they, they always, they always yeah, had force ones. They always no, had because the, um, the one that the, the main guy had, that was one of the first marks. Yeah, and then that yeah. was getting real. So that had the no, pulse cannon guns. That was a mark three. That was a mark three. It that was? was? The Russians had a mark wasn't one. Wasn't that the first one that was left? But all of them still had that pulse gun. Did the no, Mark one? Did the Russians one. have a pulse gun? No. They did it. Only a fist, right? They just had like fucking weaponry everywhere. But like, my point is is that Oh what, yeah. That, why that would sounds... you fight with your hands when yeah, you know, have, know you have a sword and go? That's a beta option. Yeah, or okay. like that. I, I admit beta? the beta option thing is bad, <laughs> but the Eureka did have two swords, and the triple Asian thing did have the curving the blades. blades. Yeah, spinning blades. So the Australian one did have the the the, the single the wrist blades. The wrist blades. You, you so know, that was cool. um, is is this movie based off a series or off no. a book or something? Not really. No. My well, imagination. Oh, well, well. Oh. <laughs> for me, that that's a real big impact on this because it makes me enjoy it that much more. It's not something that's based off anything previously. Yeah, like it's not, yeah. yeah. It hasn't drawn... Yeah, it like hasn't drawn from... Specific inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, except for getting high and watching Independence Day and saying, <laughs> oh, we should do that with uh, robots! Did they explain why only a few kaiju came out at a time? Yeah, it was, like, yeah like, th- th- there were different there were different types of. Um, no, that, I understand no, no. that, but why couldn't they send like six at once? Oh no, no, they, they were testing us to see like they, they they pretty much sent out one at a time to just slowly wane away at the human population Be- like, because test us to see what we were made of. I remember that. Or- originally the kaiju, yeah, the kaiju. They originally came to Earth, but our atmosphere because what was too the dinosaurs, yeah, they couldn't live in yeah. the atmosphere, so they hid. So uh, I'm assuming like there would have been a lot of them that came then. Probably as, and then they noticed that because of the um, oxygen like, level and all that so shit. So yes, originally they're just testing out Earth's atmosphere, right? So they send like one or two at a time. But you know when um, the scientist drifts with the brain? Yeah. And then after that they try to chase him around. Wouldn't that technically let them know that humans were up to something to stop it forever? So wouldn't they send their whole army out? No. No, no, what do you call it? Uh, they they knew what the humans' plan was to send um send the bomb in because but Roman, they knew it wouldn't work as well because he had to make a lot yeah. of an alteration True. and and also when um Charlie Day I should stop calling him Charlie Day but I'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> when when <laughs> he yeah, the, yeah when the main scientist guy connected with the kaiju they connected with his brain so yeah. they knew what they were doing it's two way yeah, yeah 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 so that doesn't that answer your question no but I'm saying why yeah. they only yeah. What he, what he was saying Technically, was, they could have sent more out just yeah. to guard it. Uh, uh, maybe it takes a while. A math equation to that. <laughs> yeah, maybe it takes a while to grow them, Tim. <laughs> they had to send three, apparently. Number two. Maybe there's only so much I they can fit been... through a hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number two. Because they know where, the, where humans know where the bridge is, right? Mm-hmm. Why don't they build like a front base? like a Around the bridge? Around the bridge, so that whenever they come out, they can just immediately is, is, eliminate. Isn't that Wouldn't the they... point of the wall? Because it's too fucking deep, man. Take ages. You see how... They keep knocking it down if you keep trying. I mean, you saw that, even, even like that, those last scenes, they were fully fucking emerged in water. Yeah, but... Submerged. Like, I mean, like, category 1s and 2s would have been smaller. Oh, yeah. There's another con. Uh, yeah. Rayleigh, the main character? 
He should never come back up. Yeah, they didn't, both, remember? both Marco and... No, Marco yeah. was inside the wormhole, but the other guy... <laughs> yeah. The other guy was, was already outside. He yeah. was outside of the wormhole. No, no, which no, doesn't... He, he got sent in. And then you see the, the wormhole, like, you know, fizzer away, like, really fucking quick. Is, Apparently he made it through that. Is, is that because... That doesn't count. Is yeah, that because of technically when the, um, the Jaeger exploded, the force of the explosion pushed his... Yeah, um, but... Well, he already objected, but I guess... No, 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 but th- that, that's what gave that the push to go Yeah, but wouldn't he still be denied? Maybe. Does it say that he hey, made the... Uh, I'm not defending I know, 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 Exactly. No, yeah, no, yeah, you're right. In, exactly. In between the he, in between he, the he had a strong enough brain. So, so that's you know that's kind of like reasonable because yeah. yeah. she's in between. <laughs> but I need to give her his oxygen. Apparently, it's like, hey, you know, I'm sending you out, but I'm still gonna give you my oxygen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking need it. <laughs> so I don't know. He shouldn't. I I think he should have died. Yeah, yeah, I think he should have died. That would have been better. That would have been a, like that. Would have been like I. It would, would have been yeah. like a no, great I, fucking movie. No, I thought that... I, 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 <laughs> I don't know. I can't give a rating. It's like, if I give a rating now, then I think another one later. You know what I mean? So I, can't, I can't rate what I would call that. No, because I thought all of them would have died when I saw that, uh, when you know, the ending part. Mm. I, thought, yeah. I thought like, oh, so we, we saved the world with all the heroes dying. That's the that's first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that, that would mean it would be a completely realistic film. Yeah. I would have loved that. I would be like, yes. realistic. Oh well, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. No, no, well, realistic in terms of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, um, <laughs> I think in terms of that, um, by that point, they were already going for that Independence Day kind of vibe, and that they they didn't want to go that far. I mean, they yeah, already the got rid of Suicide Bombers and Independence Day died. The one that fucking suicide bombed the one thing on. Yeah, but Will City. Smith survived. I was oh oh! Did I just hear you say "fuck him"? <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Have yeah, so anyway, back up. So you guys. Yeah. All right. So, um, any more pros or cons? For you? Um, I just would... have this little stupid thing you guys are gonna hate me for. Um, I don't hate. This is it the fighting scene. I hate you no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> At the end, when they've got the lifeboats up. Screw you! Yeah, where Sorry. Marco goes to rally and she checks his pulse. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's got no pulse. You're wearing gloves. <laughs> Why is the to check his pulse? <laughs> And I was just like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um, I guess my turn now. Yes. Uh, I'm going to start off with a pro. This movie is visually stunning in cinemas. I recommend everyone go watch this in the cinemas. Is it in 3D? Like, Not in 3D. Not good. Um, <laughs> actually... No, it is in 3D, it, but it, I'm saying don't, don't yeah. watch it in oh. 3D. Don't watch it in 3D. Oh, could, really? Is it any yeah. good in 3D? It is, it, is that what you saw in I know. I'm just saying... Oh. Cause it could be. If, I like, movies which are made for 3D would look be good, but this is a movie made for, you know. Was it, con- <laughs> was it um, post-conversion? <laughs> it would have to be. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, um, this, this really does look amazing in cinemas um i don't know how well it's going to translate to watching it at home like it still like it, I, I know it will work but because it, it, by the time it comes out on blu-ray screens will be 10 times larger <laughs> <laughs> well like it it's not going to look as sunny it's not going to have as much of a visual impact they but make a pacific rim tv just for it <laughs> <laughs> okay continue <laughs> but still i found this very visually stunning i thought it was great i i like that it was more of a light-hearted story um one of the things I picked out in our um, Man of Steel review is, like, when you try and make something grounded in reality, your consequences of death become, like, too far. And I'll, that's when I go, oh, you can't have millions of people dying and not address it. And this one, this one was so far-fetched. Right from the second it started, it goes, you, you know, like, all this shit is going to happen and, you know, San Francisco is gone. Yeah, like and right, the right, they mentioned yeah, that yeah. they have so they, many casualties. They mentioned that yeah. all this shit happens. And in that way, it kind of... I kind of stepped back from this film and I didn't feel so invested and I was able to look at it as just a fun summer movie. Um, my cons for this is it's kind of a, it's a weak dialogue. I mean, you, you <laughs> oh, got to yeah, admit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, a really weak dialogue. So much cheese that you can... But the dialogue is spoken through machine battles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I give a plus for... Hey, Marco. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Marco, I kind of got a problem with her. Just, um... <laughs> She seemed really stupid at certain points. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, she would go all doughy-eyed at certain points. It's like, you're an adult! The fuck are you doing? Ah! Oh! Not really. I mean, what, yeah, what, really. What, 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 when? Like, when she's um, at him. No, no, no. when she's sparring, and then and she looks at um, Idris Elba, who's become her surrogate father, and she's like, Please? Can I please fight? What? You ever oh, done that to anyone before? <laughs> 
Right. Can I have Dark Knight Rises, <laughs> please? Yeah. I do that for me. <laughs> I remember what she said. It's about respect. Yeah, but like, <laughs> there's a certain point be- where this is beyond respect. It's like you're acting. Well, okay, I know it's a they... weird thing to pick out for acting. But in a movie with this kind of big of a budget, I expected... I'm pretty like, sure she's pretty broken after what happened to her when she was a kid. No. No. No, no. no. Right, let's, fuck let's, you. Let's happen to Rakesh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's already happened to me, man. So a giant crab screamed at your face. Fuck yeah! That was last night! I had too many Jaeger shots. Yeah. That's what happened to me. So, fuck you. Then he literally fuck you. crabs. Fuck you. <laughs> um, other than that, there's not too much else I can pick on without anyone else going, well, yeah, no shit. That's, and you guys have all given really big valid points towards your uh, criticisms of this. Um, I, I thought it was a little bit too long for me. Like, definitely by an hour and a half mark, I was getting a little bit tired from this. But, you know, I was still, I was still having a lot of fun, so that drove me forward yeah. to keep enjoying this. Uh, I think it was you and me that mentioned after watching this that they set up the story really well in the first first hour and hour hour and a half maybe. Yeah. And then they just go action. They they, yeah. they just do what they have to do. Yeah, yeah, and that was really good. Yeah. Um, I I also really enjoyed the um build up with Charlie Day and then that other scientist yeah. guy and how that story also evolved. So it's like, so while this one thing is happening, at least you have a B story <laughs> that's happening. <laughs> like, where's more movies nowadays are just focusing on one story. Um, I like that's how what I on this one. even though it's an ash- action-packed film, they actually paced it throughout yeah. the entire film really well. And they, and they, give, you, they like, give you a lot of information as well. They give you a lot, yeah. Like, like they, they classify your villains, they classify your, your own machines and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Did Melvin, did, at any point you felt like that Australian actors were like, that's not an Australian accent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a guy doing an impression of it. You said that to me 20 minutes in, you're like, that guy's not Australian. <laughs> I was like, the fuck is he doing? <laughs> well, then I said, mediocre acting, what'd you expect? Hmm. Honestly, like, if they had, like, big actors, that, that's when their budget would hit, like, 300 million. Oh, yeah. That's, that, that, just... that, 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 that's what actors get paid, you know? Like, that, they extra 20, 50 million each. Hmm. 20, 30, 50, sorry. 20, 30 million each, you know? Hmm. Um... Uh, I'm just having a look at um, some notes. Apparently, there is potential for a possible sequel. That's gonna suck shit. That will suck shit if they j- leave it alone. Yeah, yeah it, should be, it should be a standalone film. Yeah. See, I think I think the d- right now the rating I'm gonna give it is gonna be higher because I know so far that they haven't announced a sequel yet. You can't drop a rating because of a sequel. I will do it! I will do it! I will fight! The sequel can be as shit as it wants. It, it shouldn't affect I am cancelling this sequel! <laughs> oh, um, the Australian guy is uh, British. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no wonder. He did sound a little British. What about, what about the father? The father might have been Australian. He yeah, he looked like it. We'll find out. He, no, he, he wasn't. He, 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 I think he had the accent pretty decently down. Yeah. I'd, the son was absolutely trash. Yeah, well... That there wasn't too much that I could expect from that, but uh, should we just go on our ratings now? Yeah, let's do ratings. All right, you guys know how we do it. We do it from zero being the worst <laughs> to ten being the best. I didn't want the worst. No, Andrew, <laughs> what do you give this? Okay, I saw he changes it every single time we do this. We don't come close to that time anyway. <laughs> Motherfuckers, you don't need to pay attention for the movie being what it is. Right, for being what it is. The- because we all know it's a sci-fi action movie. We know Andrew loves his we, action. We know we love my action. As, as, as Andrew would say, the I love pew. my pew-pews. Yeah, man. I'm, <laughs> well, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure where to give it a nine or an eight. Give it a number! Eight and a half, I'm just saying. Eight and a half! <laughs> there we go, an eight and a half. Uh, Tim, what about you? It's got an order. No. Yeah. Oh, you no. son of a bitch. No. Five! Five? Give it an eight and a half oh. as well. Oh, <laughs> eight and a half yeah, as well. Yeah. All right. Rakesh? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. Ah, you I moderate you. You don't moderate. I, I give this a eight. I really loved it. I can't wait to uh, get a copy of this nah, to watch it again. he's going to drop a bombshell, isn't he? Yeah. No. Um, yeah. Uh, get some toilet uh, paper. Outside the cinema, I said seven and a half to eight, but after... Like, acting aside, I actually liked the story. I didn't think it was too cheesy. Me, me and you differ there, but that's okay. Mm. Um, but I, I, I admit you guys made me see the CG was really good, so I'm going to go with 
Oh, God. <laughs> Today we are cancelling this review! <laughs> so roll at 8. Everything. Yeah, well, everything at 8 plus. It'd be over 8.25. <laughs> yeah. See, I was initially going to go with a 7.5, but just just the way I left the cinema after this, like, I was in a pretty like, shitty yes. mood beforehand. <laughs> and when I, just when I walked out, I was Were like, you I was happy just. happy days afterwards? Yeah, I was. I pretty much was. Dun, and that's dun, what reminded me of. <laughs> that's what reminded me of a great summer film. I don't get really fun summer films without them being really yeah. cynical and shit like that now. It's an average of 8.3125. Yeah. <laughs> it's higher. No. No. You're <laughs> off by a decimal, but. Oh, yeah, not. the finest the 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 American. The what? Yeah. It's American. The, Okay, so it's American actors, yeah, whatever. All right, um, I love Deidre Selva in this movie, by the way. <laughs> um, YouTube.com forward slash Off The Chest Podcast. You can find our Facebook page on the same name. That's Off The Chest Podcast 2. And our blog spot. And our, yep, Off The Chest <laughs> Podcast dot blogspot dot com dot au, where you can find various blog updates that Tim and I are doing. Mainly me right Mainly now. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, for now, that's all. Thank you very much, folks. See you later. Uh, you know the dirt.